Hey everyone, this is Jeff with peptidecritic.com. Today I'm going to show you how to take your reconstituted peptide and put it into one of these 3ml pen cartridges. These pens, they are reusable. Uh, there are also disposable ones, which a lot of us like for travel, uh, but they all take the same size cartridge and it's a very standard thing in the uh, peptide space. These are for research use only. They're not for human or veterinary use. Now that we have that out of the way, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need your syringe. Uh, you're going to need your peptide, uh, an alcohol pad, a breather needle. This is very important. We'll get to that later. And then, of course, your pen and your cartridge. Now, the cartridge is uh, is very interesting because the self-healing seal on it is extremely small. And what we've seen is a lot of people We'll just use, I believe they're uh, 21 gauge needles uh, for reconstitution. These are kind of the standard everyone uses. They're great, but they're too big for this little self-healing seal. And if you compare it, it's going to damage this. And this needs to be in good shape for when you're researching and you mount these little pen needles on there. So I don't use these when I fill them. I will use a 30 gauge lower lock needle. Um, you can also just use easy touches or whatever diabetes needles you have to do the loading process. You don't need to go buy special stuff. So uh, it's nice to have one of these stands. We sell them in our store at peptidecritic.com along with most of this other stuff. And uh, the first step is to take an alcohol prep test and you need to sterilize this. Big mistake a lot of people make. They don't sterilize it. Second step is you need to put a breather needle in. Now, this is just a little 31 gauge. I have a lot of them. You can also just take one of these pen needles and just put it off to the side and use that too. So you just put it in at a slight angle so you have room to work. And I like to set it up so that it's just poking in a little bit because if you're filling this all the way, what'll happen is it'll get this needle is all the way in like this. It'll get to the needle and your uh, contents, your peptide will start squirting out. So I just get it in there enough. So then we take our syringe, you carefully insert it, and we just inject it. It's going pretty quick. Now, one thing some people will do is they will use these uh, sterile syringe filters, uh, and they're great. And I actually use them um, with some of my research. Uh, but you don't need to, but it's a precaution some people like to take. So that's just something you should think about. Now, I basically got this thing full, but here's the problem. You have all this air inside. And so you need to get that out. So you load it in the pen. Beautiful. And you take one of these needles. Screw this bad boy on. And then you just prime it until there is no air left inside. And this is really uh, important. Some peptides that like to gel up, especially. Um, you got to point it straight up in order to get all the air out. So I'm just going to point it up in a little bit away because you will get a little bit of liquid coming out. You just want to be careful. And there we are, <laughs> made a mess. And that is a loaded pen cartridge. Now I will cover this, I will unscrew it. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is a sealed pen cartridge. Uh, there is another way people like to load it, which I don't particularly care for, um, where you press this all the way in first, and then you just take your syringe, you insert it and you push your peptide into it, which pushes the stopper back out, then it's no longer sterile. Um, but I hope that helped some of you guys. And, uh, you know, as always, let us know if you have any questions and happy research from peptidecritic.com.